Hi! Within this lecture, we're going to find a way to process this ETH0 output in here and get the MAC address, the ether part, out of that ETH0 text and compare it to my MAC input given by user so that we can be sure MAC has been really changed. And in order to do that, we have to learn a new technique called regex or regex. So let me go to google.com and google it out. So I suggest you guys do the same thing as well. So we are looking for an online regex editor Python. Okay. And we will have like thousands of alternatives in here. And it really doesn't matter which one you choose. But what I found out is that there is a website called regex101.com and it works pretty good. So maybe you can work with this one, maybe you can work with another one as well. So regex actually stands for regular expressions and sometimes people pronounce this as regex, sometimes pronounce this as regex. You may choose whatever you want, but this actually lets us to filter out some characters inside of a text. If you go here down below, you will see that you have to use backslash s to filter any white space character. Okay, so if you do backslash d, you can filter out any digits. So w, you can filter out any word character non-word character as you can see we have a lot of options to filter out to process a text and get some values out of it and here as you can see we're just looking for common tokens we have anchors meta sequences group constructs we have thousands of options to work with regular expressions of course within one single lecture we cannot use and learn about all of them but we can find a way to filter our ether part inside of our eth0 text in here so let me copy this and let me go back to my regular expression editor here and paste it into this test string and this online editor actually gives us the opportunity to work in real time and see what can we filter or not. So if I do something like this in here, okay, like I have, I'm trying to do a backslash and if I do backslash S, as you can see, I only get the spaces and it highlights where I get down below, as you can see. Now, since I did backslash S, now I'm getting as spaces. What I'm trying to do is find a regular expression that will highlight only my ether part. So if I do D, then it will do some digits numbers. As you can see, it highlighted some single digit numbers. Then I'm making some progress, right? I have seen the part of either. Now if I do backslash D backslash D, now these are all highlighted as you can see, but also there are some other digits as well. I'm looking for a regular expression that will only highlight the ether part, not the other, other ones, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this DD and maybe add some more to make only my ether part highlighted. So if I add a column and then DD afterwards, as you can see now I have eliminated other ones. So let me do it for six times. We have six pairs in MAC addresses, right? So if I do DD, DD, DD six times with columns, then only my ether will be highlighted. So now I found a way to highlight my MAC address, right? So I can use this regular expression in my code and get 
the MAC address out of there. But there is something wrong with this picture. Actually, MAC addresses can take the word values as well. So it can take these letters. So now I have 3A rather than 33. And remember, dot D only gives us digits. So let me copy this and let me go back here and delete this and paste my new Mac. Okay, so right click and paste. And as you can see, it doesn't highlight it anymore because rather than digits, I have to say character. And a way to do that is to, as you can see, digit doesn't highlight 3A here. So I, I have to find a way to include this word character as well. And we have seen what it was. It was W, any word character. So rather than saying D, let me say W here, here. OK, so let me do it one more time, six times. OK, column with columns. Don't forget to add columns and it will highlight only my MAC address this time and it will be correct. And the beauty of this regular expression, it isn't valid only for Python, but you can use it in most of the other programming languages as well. So now let's stop here and in the next lecture, we're going to see how we can use it actually in our Python code.